Hey, so I am just decided to post an update video and didn't get to posting a video last week. Um, things just got so busy and my schedule has been really hectic. I've been traveling some during the week. Um, like I went, I've been going out to Georgia, traveling over the Appalachian, North Georgia mountains uh, to a place um, to play. Tonight I'm going to Kentucky um, and Actually, I've been in the studio for a couple weeks, um, and it's going to be ongoing. We're going to be doing some of my projects and doing some instrumental projects and laying down some guitar for a friend of mine, and helping him out with some of his projects. Um, been hanging out at Wavelength Studio here in Chattanooga in downtown with a friend of mine named Trey Mullins, and actually we went to school together. And uh, yeah, that's been a lot of fun finally uh, enjoyed that process again. I've discovered that I don't really have enough discipline um, or patience a lot of times to be doing it on my own and doing all of my own recording, especially when it comes to vocals. So having a studio where someone can mix and master and do some really fine tuning and, you know, kind of give you good feedback. And especially when it comes to vocals is super helpful. What's your process for drums? Um, basically, <clears throat> just get them all bust out to their own channels and then work on the blend. So we're going. You got any secret sauce? <laughs> uh, you, you know. Little, I mean, you don't have to give all your secrets away. It's all about, yeah, just all about how compressed you want them kind of to be. Let's see. So we're going here to 3334. Try to try to show some tender love on his butterscotch telecaster here. It's um uh, it's, it's got some vibes. What we got going here. We well, we're kind of trying to bring these up to normal level because the action was set to where these are stabbing you. Um which intonation wise may have to do. I'll just have to see. But I'm bringing these forward. And it's bringing the uh, the action really low, so I don't know, might not work, but just thought I would give it a try. Well, I'm here with my friend Trey, and Trey, what's the name of your studio, sir? Wavelength Studio. Wavelength, that's right. Very, very, very cool. He's located downtown here off Macaulay Avenue. Check him out. Can you, they find you online? Uh, Instagram. Instagram, Wavelength Insta Studios. Yeah, it's uh, at Wavelength Chat on Instagram. Yeah, it's sort of a... Secret club, no, of <laughs> artists, no. <laughs> if you know, you know. Uh, yeah, they, he does a lot of work. What are some of the projects you've been working on recently? Uh, I mean, recently we've, uh, uh, one of the producers in our team just got a um, placement with uh, Moneybag Yo and Lil Durk. Um, wow. We, uh, another producer of ours, Wayne on a Beat, um, that was Louis Montana that got that uh, one with Lil Durk. Wayne on a Beat got... Uh, placement with Polo G. Um, so we do a lot of producing work. That's kind of our specialty, but we also record, mix and master here. Um, so yeah, come man. check us out. Awesome, they've got a great, he's got a great facility, man. He really knows what he's doing. He's got He's got a nice touch. He's also a great singer, great songwriter, oh, great gosh. producer, plays keys, everything. Everything you need to like get a song done or a demo done or just any kind of project, really. It's like, it's so versatile. That's a, it's a fun thing. So impressed, I'm blown away. <laughs> Yeah, Trey's an old this friend is, of mine. This is the man right uh, here. Yeah. Uh, well, I appreciate you uh, checking out some old tunes I've got. Of course. So what are we trying to do with this one? Just trying to... Oh, just putting a mix on it. Uh, mix it's a it. great song. We did a, a two-track mix a couple months ago, and so now we're putting the finishing touches on it, make it sound full, make it sound make it sound uh, like, a, like a hit, like the hit that it is. Wow. Well, uh, well I just have had some old projects that man i just have not ever been able to complete so i shared a couple of them with you last year and then slowly kind of like hey let's finish them up and man you definitely have revived the, <laughs> i guess the excitement for the <laughs> these old projects we're working on hitch a ride and then we also worked on a blues bluesy tune called lightning and thunder that was a lot of fun I thought both that, of them great tracks that, that was a lot more fun than I, than I thought like i really enjoyed coming in here and tracking vocals i think that was probably probably my best
vocal experience I've had in a studio, uh, big, small, local, non home studio, any of it, like seriously, it was fun. Oh, thanks. <laughs> so we record a lot of vocals, so it's a, uh, you know, oh, it yeah. is a, uh, it's a, it's a journey, but yeah, you did great. I mean, your performance is always on, so that makes it easy. Uh, well, thanks. Thanks for, uh, polishing these turds. No, <laughs> <laughs> thanks for, <laughs> no, I'll cut that out. No, thanks for polishing up, um, our tunes, bro. Appreciate you. Always. So uh, that's been a really fun, refreshing process. Uh, stay tuned for more updates about that and some new projects coming, which is exciting. And whew, it's been a long time coming, but I'm so blessed. And then last weekend, we went to Tullahoma, Tennessee to visit a, some old friends of mine. So we're on our way to Tullahoma, Tennessee, and it's just up and over the mountain. And it's in central time. So it's kind of like you go back in time. It's kind of crazy. And I used to go to this place all the time. And so we're going to see if I can get there by memory. Just pull out your GPS. I was trying to see how long it was going to take. The GPS lady. It doesn't. It doesn't matter. You still got directions. You did not did. navigate us here of your own accord. I didn't look at the directions. I only looked at the time. Did I just. I just looked at the Google to see how long it was going to take. Well Church, and the Well Church has this building downtown in the little downtown Tullahoma area, and they used to do this uh, concert and hangout night called Cafe Agape, <laughs> and uh, it was a lot of fun. I used to go there all the time, uh, at least a couple times a year, and uh, it's really cool because you can just share your own songs and. You know, it's a blessing to people and people would walk in off the street and, you know, hear some encouragement and stuff. And it was, it was really, it was always really cool. So it was fun to bring the family and the kids this time. But we had a blast on our trip out there. It was a short little trip and uh, pretty easy. Didn't have to stay overnight or anything, um, but it was really fun to see some old friends and, um, and yeah, let the kids come along. And I think they had fun, you know. They were definitely pretty tired when it was all said and done, but I enjoyed having them there. And uh, hopefully, they'll get to be more involved in the future. We'll just see how things go. I am loving you setting up merch. Do you have your bag? <laughs> okay, so do you have any suggestions for different merch? Um, I think tie dye t shirt would be really I actually really like that. Let's ask Daddy. Maybe he'll let us tie dye some white ones. <laughs> Anything else? Um,. We could do like a giant poster of Daddy's face that people can sign. Wow, that's it. That's it. Now we should do that. Technology.
Oh, she's so hard. Okay, did we survive this tour? Did we, it's a tour if it's only one. Yeah, it's only an hour and a half away. When you have three children out of yeah. town, it's a tour. Yeah, it's okay. it's a chore tour. Can you no. believe, what is this? Almost 15 years later, we're still touring. You still tolerate it. Whoa. But now we have three tinies. Yeah. That's wild. Yeah. Hopefully they uh, find something rewarding. I mean, we are paying our oldest to run the merch, so. Oh, that's good. Oh, um, in case you didn't know. We paid I'm, her dues. <laughs> in case you didn't know, I'm paying her now because I don't want to do it. <laughs> I don't blame you. I don't either. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Um, any thoughts? Any? <clears throat> There were children screaming. <laughs> no, it actually wasn't distracting at all. Okay, that that shirt looks very dadish. And if we're gonna have a debriefing, that there was some serious hamburger meat action during right. the slide. I, it amused me. It's fine. I know. I could. This this shirt this shirt won't get worn again because I couldn't grab it out of my pocket. It was get. It was not working. It was. It was um, I can't even think of. Night Rider. It was very Hasselhoff. <laughs> um, the whole time I was actually afraid that like my belly was showing <laughs> in, in the button down portion. Because <laughs> I was unsure. <laughs> it may have been. Okay. Oh, great. Okay, we gotta go home. Okay. Bye. What is this styrofoam? Dad, it's good. It's called a rice cake. You said you a you like, actually eat this? You don't eat it to like pack stuff in a box to ship out? No. In the mail? No. It's like packing peanuts. You said you were a This is awful. This is the worst snack I've ever, ever eaten. Do you want to right here, Mole? You want to see if that's better? That's uh, that was cinnamon dish, I think. What did that I feel like I'm eating a styrofoam. Can you give him one caramel? Back you know, and see if he likes it. A packing material. Can I have a caramel? I like it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, guess what, Dad? Packing peanuts are edible. I've eaten one before. <laughs> Mom said they're edible. Yeah. <laughs> Some of them are. Thanks for all your prayers and your support. Uh, out there on the road.